you know, be like, uh-huh. we should get some girls over here or whatever. And I always sit there with like a fucking Tostino's pizza, like playing Dead Dead Rising or something like that. <laughs> and I'm like, why? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds so fucking lame. We don't dude. even have enough controllers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Cream Crew. I gather you have a list of things that he said that you want to <clears throat> repudiate. Yeah, so I'll start by saying, obviously, the episode was really late. Um, mm. And he called me last night. And the very first thing he said was, are you upset? <laughs> I said, hey, Dad. He's like, are you we upset? We haven't talked in a while, boy. <laughs> are you okay? Do you, do you need to talk well, to Dad? Well, he texted me and asked where it was. And I, I guess I, like just text like a two word answer like it's up tomorrow or something and then he yeah yeah he, he just cold like, shouldered him yeah. it's gone mm, i yeah. deleted it but he called me like at midnight eastern time which is <laughs> it was hours, on his hours mind. after his bedtime yeah and, uh, i see I, weirdly i felt like despite my greatest efforts i could not get that man to dunk on you at yeah, all no. I, everything I, I would say he'd be like well, he's a great guy I, I, feel, I love him i feel dunked all the same i have a list really i have a re- i have a record to straighten Re- yeah. i would be like Don's a fucking loser. And he'd be like, he's not a loser. He's a winner. He's a goddamn winner. It's true. I'm, I'm just so not, proud of those I'm so, boys. He's, they're, they're great. They're, they're great boys. They're great boys. And and the sister is a great girl. He called her that. He said, the sister. Yeah, he said, she's a great girl. No, I mean, yeah, he, he defended me, but he also, like, I'm going to go down the list. So, okay. and th- this, was, this was the linchpin because it kind of led into several other things, but he claimed that he bought me Jokelpedia. Because I did not understand comedy. <laughs> <laughs> which, yeah. which was an interesting claim. That whole deal about... Well, actually, if I remember, it wasn't because you didn't understand comedy. It was because you were so fucking like socially retarded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, you had to keep... He, uh, no, he no, said, he, he keep everybody him. at a pencil's distance. Well, he, yeah, but he forbade him said because he didn't understand comedy. Yeah, so and you so would, I just you, I bought him this book, so maybe he can figure it out. I don't, would, I don't know, would, whatever. And you would go around to everybody at the, at the house and try all the knock, jokes knock. on people. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh-huh. No, no, no. But what actually happened? It aligns for me. I mean, what actually happened? All tracks okay, to me, bro. Okay. <laughs> Elementary school scholastic book fair. Mm. There was Jokopedia, which is a big yellow book, and it had a cool drawing. Yellow. Had a cool drawing of a caveman on it. And I was okay. Like, I like the, the, I like the drawing. I like the you art. Saw a I like the, the art book, in this book. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm like knock 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 <laughs> before you even, before you even open it. Knock <laughs> knock 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 knock. Knock knock. Knock 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 knock. All the girls are like, "Why is Don?" Di-? He's like, "All the seventeen-year-old girls." Knock 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 knock. Oh, your little fucking pencil. Yeah, exactly. The librarian's like, "Don, you need help." Turn around. Yeah, exactly. Just like, stay away from me. Knock knock. Okay, so carry on. Right, Jokepedia. Okay, so. I get. I buy. I buy Jokopedia with my <laughs> with my own money. With my money that I was given to spend at the thing. So mm. correction one. He said he he made it sound like he went and found this book to cure me. I feel like, like he I'm did. Gonna, I feel like what's actually happening. sounds more plausible. You, 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 what what I feel like you think happened is you're just like I stumbled upon it myself. I feel like he probably like. No, 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 what's no, that no, boy? No, he's, no, like, what's no, no. he's like, go that home, looks go like look. fun. Go Here's ten dollars. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's exactly how much it is with yeah. tax. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you twelve sixty four. I hope that, you can find that, something. That, that looks like a good book. Oh, yeah. <laughs> knock 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 knock. Okay, so uh, carry okay, on. So I got the book because I liked the art. Okay, sure. and I told Classic. the story. I remember this, and I've told this on this podcast vividly. I remember sitting in the back seat of his uh, Ford Explorer. It was like the twentieth anniversary. Uh, bicentennial car or whatever or 100th anniversary mm-hmm. I was in the back seat my brother and sister were in the, the sec- second row behind the front seats my dad uh-huh. was in the front seat I yep. could see his face in the rear view mirror yeah. and I was just sitting back there like a dickhead reading the knock knock jokes to piss them off uh-huh. now I will grant him that I was and largely to a large extent still am a timid pussy nerd and probably a little autistic but I was not reading the joke book because I thought the shit was funny. I was reading the joke book because it was ge- it was a listening reaction. It was pissing everybody off. Mm-hmm. So I so now instead of one mode of communicating with people, 
showing them my awesome drawings wherever we went. As he said, I now had a second way of communicating, reading these shitty jokes and pissing everybody off. And I liked that. So here's my question. The yes. problem is, this is predicated very heavily on your memory and it's predicated mm-hmm. very heavily on his memory. A How full, do we a, a pass... Full, a fully developed brain by that point. That's also a fair point. How do we pass whose memory is right here? Mm. He had no recollection. It's of- kind of like... this is Here's a good rebuttal of that. Is I remember when I was very young... And I had eleven dollars, and I remember being like, thinking that I was on top of the world. When re- in actuality, my mom left that money in my room, and I just kind of assumed that I was like, "Yeah, I got this." Mo-. Like I, I, I constructed this deal in my head. So I feel like I would. Lo- I wish that there was a time machine so we could go back. <laughs> so when you're like, "Yeah," I mean, I found it by myself because I love the art. When in actuality, it was probably like your dad was like, "Isn't the art fun? Don't you love it?" You're like. Knock, knock, knock. Dude, that is it. the second. That's counter- the kind of shit. Well, that's I the mean. second counterpoint that comes to mind. Not only the weekend your dad came down, did we discover from your girlfriend that you had invented a shared memory <laughs> yeah, between was, her that, and that you. Was, that was kind of crazy. Where that was. you came yeah, up yeah. with a scenario and you're like, do you remember when X happened? Yeah. And the bottom of the rabbit hole I'm getting to is that it turns out you took a Bob's Burger episode uh-huh. or scenario that, that I had watched with her <laughs> and, and put I, yourself yeah, yeah. and her in fair, it yeah. okay, fair into enough. the animated show. Fair and then said, do you remember when that happened to okay, us? Okay, but I have concrete counterpoints to this okay. argument. Okay. <laughs> the first time Joe Copita bro- was brought up, yep. in the comments section of that cream crew, people said, oh yeah, I remember that at my Scholastic Book Fair. Okay. And in elementary school, Scholastic Book Fairs, the actual fair portion took place during the school day. My dad couldn't have been there because he were walked out of class to the library to walk through the thing and buy the shit mm-hmm. and then go back to class. I remember he, classic book fairs. My mom had went up to his My, my fair. parents were not there, at least at ours. All right. It was during the day mm. and I had my money and I saw the caveman. I was like, I like this. I like these drawings. I, I will say that was, man, scholastic book fairs. What a fucking time. That's a time to be alive. As oh, a, yeah. As you, a kid. you got your fucking zoo books, right? Did they I got my those? zoo books. I got Captain Underpants. Like, all three of them saran wrapped, and it came with a hypno ring and shit. <clears throat> uh, that's I right. got a big old dick on me whenever I had that shit. I got a Pokemon book. That's what I remember. I also remember. Oh, and they, also had, and they had, like, the How to Draw Pokemon books. How to I think Draw I, Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, I think mm-hmm. I literally bought some of those books there when I was a kid. <laughs> that didn't think I had that. I do remember thinking I was a comedic genius, though, because it was my brother's birthday coming up, and uh, there was a Barbie doll for sale at this thing, and I bought the Barbie doll for his birthday, and I thought it was fucking hilarious. How old was he at that point? I don't know. Seven years older than me. <coughs> or so, so, like... It's like It's probably like a teenager. It's like yeah. teens or something. Yeah, early teens. Yeah. Yeah. What, what do you think? Everyone had a good jape, a good okay. laugh. Okay. Turns out my comedic instinct from a very young age was very strong. Mm-hmm. I was never guided by <laughs> hand. Actually, to actually, Wikipedia. Actually, I just say, but then, but then in counterpoint, it's like the memory you look back on it. Actually, and they were laughing because like you shit yourself at the party or something uh, like that. And they're like, you, you, you're like, you're like the Barbie doll killed. You just have these big fucking stinky pile. Hey, of shit it was so pants. funny that I remember not having enough money for it. And the the people behind the counter was like, "Oh, that's too funny. You can buy it for that." Probably that were being you don't have like, three quid because I was poor, but. <laughs> You don't have three quid, go on, then just fucking take it. <laughs> yeah, basically. Those <clears throat> fucking prune skin you have a ba- women. Give a bag of myrrh. <laughs> give us the myrrh. Do you have any go myrrh on, Give us the myrrh. Yeah, so I gave him the myrrh. Just imagine Tom buying a Barbie. And he's like, yeah, it's for my brother's he birthday. He's such a not for me. It's for my, my brother's my brother's birthday. <laughs> right. Do you want to know something really, really fucked funny? Up? If you want a meme about me and Barbies, I've got yeah. way better than that. Okay. I used to take my sister's Barbies and like suck on the tits of them. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, mm. <laughs> is this what real pussy tastes like? <laughs> I, do, I weirdly do. I I remember having like a extremely early like awareness of wanting to like you know with women. I feel mm. like I was a such I was so late to that. Me too. I just didn't give a shit. I, mm. Me and my mate, when we were like nine, would rifle through his brother's fucking porn catalogs and shit. Mm-hmm. And yeah. My uh, my friend, like when I was like thirteen or so, like twelve maybe even, he was like re- like that's whenever he was like re- you know really starting to you know be like uh-huh. we should get some girls over here or whatever. <laughs> and I always sit there with like a fucking Tostino's pizza, like playing Dead Dead Rising or something like that. <laughs> and I'm like. Why? <laughs> that sounds so fucking lame. I don't dude. even have enough controllers. Yeah. 
That's so true. <laughs> Sitting down in his basement, and he doesn't even have like a TV. He has like a fucking like shitty projector, and you think it's like the coolest thing ever. Mm-hmm. Like so big. He's like, I guess we could play like Swap Guitar Hero or something, but why? This isn't even a multiplayer game. <laughs> All right. So in Jokelopedia, you claim was yeah. You knew you weren't autistic. You knew it was <clears throat> annoying. I might people. have been autistic. I just will not. The reasoning has to be kept straight. Right. It was another way to Don Junior One, Don Senior Zero. Exactly. All right. What's and and, and to go like. What was funniest of all listening to that episode is first painting me from the beginning as like a comedic retard that just does not understand comedy. Right. And then to accurate. But then but then to defend me <laughs> to defend me when Tom's like, Well, I could just I could run flash kits all by myself and it's I'm just I'm just it's a charity case yeah. with this boy. To defend me <laughs> it's he says, Well well, hey, you know, things change and uh I I don't I don't think without DJ there you could have written racist Mario. <laughs> like that that's the uh, that's my achievement as a comedian is uh facilitating that. So yeah, thanks dad. I totally could have written that without you. Yeah, probably. I rest my case. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean I was clearly having a laugh though cuz I said it would be animated and written better like clearly. Right, right. Clearly a jape. Right. I was I was hurt. And then, and here I, am. I was hurt. I was hurt. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just going down the list here. He does have like a pretty extensive list here. It's, I'm like, is not, it really? Can I, I, see, I, can I see I, on the I, link? I can't, I can't read it from here. But I just can I'm you just turn? I just want to see. Holy shit! This quote. Can you show the camera? He put down some thoughts. I mean, that's some fucking but, but, biblical. Like closer. Look, no, this scripture. He can do it. We're getting through it too. You know. Okay. Yeah, so, okay, so the next piece is uh, accusing my high school girlfriend of ruining my collegiate career. Yes. Oh, yeah. See, I might be able to align. I don't ever remember you having a scholarship to I USC. Did not, I was not accepted to USC. <laughs> <laughs> so that was and, your and dad's, the, like, and, kind of, and the thing <laughs> is, like, my dad, my, my dad probably blamed her for not being accepted, and then he misremembered. And, and then, again, another, another point for fucking uh, Jokopedius, who got the story right. Your memory but, is um, equally, if not worse, than your dad's, though. But... Like the ship to get accepted to USC had sailed long before like fall semester of senior year. Like my grades were not USC, and then they, they never fucking were. Let alone getting right. like a scholarship. But that there. was her fault. Yeah. Well, that yeah. Dumb bitch. yeah. Well, and, that, yeah, now, see that that's like that's good. Old, like old man, like dad <laughs> type reason. Though. It's just like oh, I could have been a doctor if it wasn't for that fucking bitch, that whore, exactly, who kept sucking his dick and got his grades all messed up. <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't think straight with his it's dick. God, <laughs> goddamn, goddamn siren. Goddamn siren. Singer. There he goes. There he sinks his ship. <laughs> okay, so, uh, <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> to be no, fair, no. I can corroborate. I never remember you being, USC being in the running. No. no I remember no. it being like an ambition. Yeah, well, yeah, I applied. Not serious. I yeah. applied, never heard anything. Yeah. I, I mean, I probably got the, like, rejection letter or whatever, but yeah. All right. Yeah. You, you, was your was your so is that literally just University of Southern California? Was yeah. That, was uh, your statement like knock knock? And that, was, <laughs> that was your whole. That was my, your my essay. Knock, 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 yeah. yeah. Knock, knock knock. Yeah. And then a story of being gaslit by my father <laughs> and <laughs> overcoming it. Yeah. Um, I'm getting gender reassignment. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. And then the, like the last, <laughs> the last. Oh no, no. There's a couple. So these are these are kind of a, a package deal, but uh, towards the end, I actually can't remember if this made the cut. But he accused me of breaking the shower. Master, this is this I was did, the I meat. Did, I did want. I kind of want this one. to be the like. Do let, let's run through the rest back, of your list. Mm-hmm. Drooped over. Oh, I dude, I figured oh. out what it was. He was playing knock knock. Huh? Mm. <laughs> With himself. <laughs> Hello. Just, just... Knock knock. I'm gonna come. <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, what happened? Yeah. No, so, like, when we... I had another call with him months ago about another episode, and we were talking about something, and then he brought that story up, and I thought I set the record straight then, but I guess I guess I just didn't get through to him. So what was the record? Clink. Like, what did you... I, I have always just liked sitting in the shower, staring at the tile. Tie, like, chalk it up to my autism or whatever, but I just like sitting in the shower with the, the shit running over my head, just staring at my feet, taking, like, long showers like that. Okay. Yeah, and the fucking wall in that shower was rotten, and I leaned against it, and the the fucking thing gave way. And like my dad, 
is a lifelong <laughs> contractor. He knows about wood and stuff, and he would have seen the like rotten plywood behind that, and how easily the shit was giving away. So yeah, just uh. See, but this has weighed on this man's mind. For okay, and I, and I will also, I will also concede. Yeah, I've jerked off in the shower. I, Who the fuck okay. hasn't? But like, I yeah, I, I didn't break the fucking shower. <laughs> Doing knock knock, and I'm gonna come. I had a friend who said that he jacked off in the bath and let it float around. That's kind of a mistake, right? <laughs> I mean, what do you? I guess. <laughs> I, well, yeah, I mean, like, <laughs> you ever like wash your hair and like all this? Yeah, the shampoo's like on the top layer of the deal. Imagine coming and there's just a big fat fucking wad lurking around like a <laughs> like a piece of swamp moss. It was kind of painting the edge. And of you're your sitting body. there just like, it's like there's never a bath. Like if you're a full grown man, there's never a bath that's ever big enough. So you're kind of like in that like weird like state where you're like all scrunched up in the bath. <laughs> this giant water that, cum. Like, that giant water cum <laughs> makes its way back around like over your chest, and you're just like. <laughs> <laughs> Blow in a different direction. Maybe it, it wicks some some uh, chest hair and kind of like pulls and strings out like hot glue. Grim. I, I can believe that. Mm, not for a I second. Like, I like sitting in the shower too. <clears throat> yeah, it's therapeutic. I uh, nice little form of meditation. I remember actually when we uh, when after I graduated high school and went to Europe the first time when we went to Germany. It was actually the first time I got drunk was at that hotel. Yeah. <laughs> and I was just standing. I was sitting in the shower of the hotel for right. like an hour. And I remember you knocking, thinking like I passed out and was drowning or something. <laughs> but yeah, it's just the don't, same. <laughs> don't get out of that door. You're going to hurt yourself. <laughs> Why is the wall broken, Don? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's what? It's what? It's what? This goddamn hotel. <laughs> the guy that owns this place is a contractor. He should have known. He should about know. <laughs> I guess the truth is out there somewhere and we'll never know. (laughs) I accept your truth, Don. Thank you, sir. I will say that uh, I I have an interesting dad story. I was getting ready to talk to you about this. I can't remember if I've told this by the time I shit myself in in front of my dad. It's a good dad story of mine when I was a kid. When we went camping, did I ever tell this story? No, not Mm. this particular shit yourself story. There There, are others. There there are quite a bit of them. (laughs) This one's interesting because it was all based out of fear. I like that. That's so a good start. my dad, uh, like going on camping trips or like doing anything with my dad was always a bit of a chore for me. I didn't, yeah. I never really liked being alone with my father. He he scares me. He's a scary <laughs> guy. But my dad was like, "We're going camping down by the lake. I got a plot out there. I rented it for the weekend." And I like, you know, I was like looking at my PS2 at the time, and I'm like, you know, uh-huh. but I want to be with you, <laughs> you know, type <laughs> deal. But my cousin also came along with me. My cousin was like very, he's like a couple years older than me. Um, and he's like kind of a sporty guy too. So he's, you know, a little more in line with my dad. Into and, all that nonsense. And uh, my dad was started to drink whenever we got out to the the place. We lit lit this like big fire and we were hanging out. And then my dad, when he was drunk, started telling this like scary story of when he was a kid, <laughs> which was all about when he... Uh, and he was like acting off theatrical and shit. You know what I mean? Like he wasn't just like telling it. He was like standing up. And like doing stuff. And it was all about how when he was like, you know, coincidentally my age, uh, him and his, my dad has two brothers. He's like one of his brothers uh, went mushroom hunting up in Illinois. That's where they're from. And out in the woods, they found this old shack and everybody, and they went and they looked through the windows and they couldn't see what was going on. So they went inside and inside there was toes hanging down from the ceilings tied on strings. Uh-huh. And I saw, and then there was basically, basically the moral of the story, and he's like talking about it, you know, he's like describing it perfectly and stuff. And I'm shitting my pants. Like, I'm like, uh. that kind of like scared when you're younger, where you just start breathing really heavily for no reason. <sighs> you know, like, and then uh, he's like sitting there and like, he talks about how like this dwarf man lived out in the woods and it was this tiny man. <laughs> and he got behind the tree and he's like, his leg stuck out like this. And he like put his fucking leg out and he talks about how they ran away and stuff and all these different kinds of things. <laughs> just telling this like horrifying dwarf tale and then he kind of trailed off and he just stopped talking about it and he's like let's make a raccoon trap and i'm like huh? <laughs> <laughs> and my mom my mom came up uh drove up to the campsite and i was and she was like i just thought i'd bring you this because my dad forgot something and uh she dropped it off and i was like yeah take me with you <laughs> <laughs> uh but couldn't do it so we had uh, s'mores and like this like really weird meat, which is going to correlate later. Mm-hmm. So uh-huh. the so uh, we're sitting there and my dad's trailing off and like AJ's kind of falling asleep and we start 
you know, getting ready to go to bed in this tent and stuff. And like, I'm still horrified. And, you know, you hear things in the woods, like raccoons are walking around or whatever. It's like, you know, whatever. And you're like, mm. like looking around and stuff. And I remember I had to take a shit like so bad, like I paint like and, and you had to like walk down the tent and like walk through like this dark area and go down this community bathroom thing. And it was like a bit of a jaunt or whatever, but I, I, I could make it. But I was so <laughs> paralyzed with fear <laughs> about the dwarf man. And like my stomach was like, Ooh, you know, like doing like the really twisted shit. Just like, let me out. <laughs> type thing. <laughs> but my um, my cousin was like, I kept having like these like tiny farts, like those poop farts. Mm-hmm. Where it's just like, and you like shut it, shut it again real quick. <laughs> my cousin's like, oh, God, it smells like shit in here. And I'm like, <laughs> I like looked over at him. He's like, he's sleeping. But my dad's like. <laughs> like passed out. I look over at my cousin like, I have to poop. He's like, then go poop. And I'm like, <laughs> I was like, I thought I can't. <laughs> I was like, what's for? Because I want my dad to wake up. Because my dad's the kind of guy where if he wakes up, he's like, God, he like freaks out. God damn it. You know, like, and you're like, ah, ah. <laughs> so I was like whispering. And, he, and it's just like, and I sat there and while he, my cousin was like talking to me, I just shit my pants. Like while we were talking, like floodgates open or like literally slowly big slide out. chunks of poop just filled my pants. <laughs> and while he was talking to me, my eyes were just like, <laughs> <laughs> he didn't, and the, they didn't know. Oh, well, he was like, he's like, oh my God. He's like, stop farting. And I was like, I, and he's like, did you just shut your pants? <laughs> and I was like, and I was like, I don't, I don't know. He's like, well, did you shit your pants or not? I'm like, yeah, I think I, I, think I did. And he was immediately like, Chad. And I'm like, no, no. <laughs> and my, dad, my dad woke up and he was like, oh, 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 <laughs> oh, God, what is that? And I was like, I put my pants. He was like, oh, God damn. And he like, got up, he like unzipped the thing. And like, I was like, still in my pajamas. And I was like, walking down the road. How old are you? I was probably like, yeah, I mean, young, like seven. You know, no, like a young kid. Ah. Uh. <laughs> and I was like walking down the fuck, man, probably even younger than that. But I was like walking down the road with him. He's like pulling me along this big ass fuck. I mean, big thick turds. Like not like he's like <laughs> jumbled around my pants. And he's like p- basically threw me in the shower. And he's like, what? J- 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 clean up, clean yourself. I was like, I was like, I don't have, I don't have soap. And he's like, ah. He like w- w- went back and he had like this fucking like bar of soap. He brought, he brought this bar of soap where it was like bar. basically fucking depleted where it's like nice. around it looks yeah, like a like pebble, a pebble. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly and he's like he's like here and he like dropped on the floor and I'm like I can't see it's too dark he's like god he's like feel around for it so there's like shit on the floor and I'm like feel around I'm like I think it I was like it's by my poop he's like he's like oh just just wash yourself so I didn't even get to like cause like the I couldn't find the soap it was too dark so I was like trying to like wash myself, but it was really just like water on your body. And I was like the shit closed. And I'm like, oh. I had to like, <laughs> I had to like walk back naked with this like wet shit clothes. And I'm like, eh, eh, eh. and my cousin's just like, dude, I can't believe you shit your pants. And I was like, I did. And my dad's like, what do you mean you did? <laughs> and I had like changed my clothes or whatever. And like, we ended up like just like putting my clothes in that fire pit thing to burn because it was just, just burn the clothes. It was so unruly, and I remember I was so upset because it was like I want to say it was like this like really sweet. Uh, he even like burned my shirt, which I thought was funny. It was the whole outfit, my shirt, <laughs> my underwear, my shorts, these cargo shorts, like whitey tighties, and then also like this awesome Yu Gi Oh shirt that I had back in the day. And I was super stoked on it. Oh, Exodia, no. And I was sitting there, and he's like, put it in the fire. And I was like, uh, <laughs> you were fucking, you were fucking a seal door. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I should have looked at him and be like, no. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Cast it into the fire. It's a door. Exactly, dude. <laughs> no. Just get, like fucking go down the street, get arrowed to the back. Um... <laughs> But yeah, I remember then the next day, my dad was still so frustrated. We left. We were supposed to be here for three days. We were there for one night. Hey, silver lining. Yeah, well, I mean, it, well, well, no, because you know, when to I got your it, beloved, it, 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 it wasn't that either. Because then it's like one of those things where it's like shameful, mm. and you're sitting there, and like on the way home, you're you're like you're good, kind of hungry as a kid too, and shit, and you're just like, can we stop for breakfast? <laughs> and my dad's like, 
my dad's just like, Hunter, just don't say another <laughs> word. And I'm like, <laughs> God. God damn, that's worse than the other shit story. Yeah, that one was brutal. That that one is like particularly rings true in my mind because it was just so smelly and so thick. Like it was just such a thick poop. Do you know what? I've always had a f- fascination with how people manage to shit themselves so much. Mm. However, I do remember one time I shit myself in my sleep. <laughs> oh, okay. That's got to be a rude awakening. Yeah. Yeah, well, it was. I used Everyone's to- getting real honest with them. So like a year ago. There's no sign of this story. Mm. Yeah, well, it's, 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 it's read its ugly here. head. Yeah. Mm. We've, we're now friends enough where I feel like I can <laughs> trust you. Can I tell you guys something? <laughs> <laughs> it's been really weighing on my mind. I, I Yeah, I, my sister and I had bunk beds, and I guess thankfully I'm bottom bunk in that situation, but I fucking can, wake up. Can you imagine while you're sleeping a turd rolling <laughs> off a bunk? <laughs> it's, it's just like, you're like, oh! <laughs> 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 It's high. <laughs> no, she she like she would have a habit of like grabbing the top of the bunk and like putting her head over to like look at me in the morning or whatever, just like are you awake kind of deal. Right, right. And then uh she was like, Why are you covered in chocolate? <laughs> I was like, What? <laughs> what do you mean? And I just like look and there's just like chocolate smeared everywhere because obviously I guess I was rolling around in my that sleep. chocolate stinks so much like it's <laughs> bakish chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, no, it just turns out I shit myself in my sleep. That's weird, man. Why does the bo- why does the body have to disrespect yourself like that? <laughs> Especially when you like come well, you come your pants and you sleep. Piss when you're a kid, so you piss your bed or whatever. That's normal. Oh. Everyone does that. But why did I manage to squeeze a whole turd out and roll in it? I always tell Allison that I was like. A scenario we talk about a lot. I don't know why is that. If I pissed the bed <laughs> at my age now, would would she divorce me? <laughs> and, and she's just like, "Did you mean to?" And I'm like, "I mean, I don't know. <laughs> hypothetically, in the situation, let's say I didn't." She's like, "No, I mean, whatever." And I was like, "What if it happened again after that?" She's like, "Yeah, there'd be a problem." <laughs> so I'm like, "Well, how many uh, pisses do you get? Yeah, exactly. How many punch piss tickets do I get before?" <laughs> she's just like, "I can't physically I can't do with this anymore. anymore." Well, you, you probably start with separate bed chambers, you know. Yeah. Dude, I wish that was more common today. I'd love that. That would wouldn't that be fucking sick? I've thought about that so my wife, many times. My wife is so sweaty. Mm, like gross. like she she just like and then she like puts all these covers on her and I'm like, God damn, leave a cover or two off, dude. Like she's just like Women have like, like a problem. It's fucking odd. And then she's mm-hmm. like wanting to cu- like cuddle with me and shit, and her fucking clammy ass thighs touch me. I'm like, God push her off and shit. And she's just like, fine. And it starts this whole thing. You're like, God damn, dude. Can't. That's why I wish it separate beds. Hey, good night. She's like, you want to push us together? Mm-mm-mm. I dude, I agree. Well, I by some cruel twist of nature, men like sleep hot and women sleep cold, and mm-hmm. they always want to fucking like add their body heat to your Worst. already overwhelming yeah, body heat. Hate it. Yeah, it's man, fucking sucks. Separate bed shit. Like I, I don't sleep. I never sleep as well as I do alone. Like when I go home or something in my own bed. Yeah, you know, without you know. No, I feel that. <clears throat> sleep. You need alone. like. I'll sleep on the one couch single sometimes. here, one single here, and a nice double fuck bed in the middle, so you can do all <laughs> your fucking here and then separate and go your separate ways. You know what I never understood back in the day was uh, those like pajamas that were like the full outfits. You know what I mean? Like, oh, like yeah. a Christmas Carol shit where it goes to like a fucking uh, moo moo, and he has so like it's a, a modest cat. generation hunter. They had their priorities right. I just feel like it's just like what another like I just I, I think about like I mean you sleep naked like I can't even imagine <clears throat> why wouldn't you sleep naked man. I, I just like a, I like underwear and a shirt. Comfortable. Oh, God, comfortable? Mm. No, you've got to sleep naked. That's comfortable. Also, I hate waking up to my grotesque, having to look down at my grotesque body. So at least it well, shields I mean, me from that. So maybe it's a psychological fair enough. thing. <laughs> the, uh, but the, but the, I was thinking about that. And I'm like, can you imagine waking up and you're like, like your fucking BO and shit, clammy ass fucking breath, and you have to like strip yourself out of this like sweat filled fucking like moo moo? And take off your cap. Like, what the fuck are you wearing a cap? <laughs> <You're> fucking... <laughs> yeah, okay. I don't understand the cap, I guess. Yeah, it completes the outfit. Mm-hmm. I guess it's aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> so if you have to walk through your house with a candle, at least you look like a fucking <laughs> idiot in general. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That's a, that's a fair point. Don, you look contemplative. Mm, Something's just, going through your mind. No, I'm, just, I'm just trying to make it make sense, personally. Like, in mm. my own head. You know, why, why would they wear a little hat like that? Must be a good reason. Hmm. 
Maybe maybe it's it was the even just prep time. Probably probably like, modesty. You know, I I know on this podcast <laughs> we've talked about like how you know go, like living back in like medieval times or whatever and shit. The prep time to get ready in the morning must have been just absolutely painful. No air conditioning, nothing, and then like you're sweaty and you put on all that fucking makeup and a powdered wig and like <clears throat> this elaborate fucking peacock outfit. Only if you were like the gentry. I don't think you or Was. any of us would have had to worry so much. Oh, I would have been just that. straight down the coal mines. In, every, in every situation, I never look at myself as like a peasant in those times. Yeah, you're like, oh, I yeah. And if I was, my powdered and, wig, and if I was exactly, I, I'd be like, I'm running the kingdom. The, uh, <laughs> uh, if if I uh, if I was like a peasant back then, it would be nothing but a potato sack, and I probably wouldn't even bathe. I would literally just be a potato. Don't you sack feel like though, like the silver lining is? I feel like peasant women, for some reason in my head, have massive tears. They just have these giant yeah, but tits. I, I, one thing that's always fucked me up is like bad teeth. And I feel like they'd all just have like you stop seeing fucking it. teeth. You stop seeing it eventually. Well, I guess you would know yeah. being in England. Is that Apparently the their teeth didn't rot either. They were just crooked as fuck. But they, they actually had really good teeth. Isn't that something Probably that's, like, nice more, sugar, isn't that yeah, something no that's like more recent and shit too? It's because like haven't we evolved yeah. or something to... I'm glad you remember that, Hunter. Mm. Yeah, we, uh, we ate a lot more like... Uh, roots and shit which made our jaws like more muscly and expand or some shit so your teeth had room every bit everybody even the women back then had giga chad like literally and- like literally our jaws are supposed do to you want to like- take me on a date <laughs> exactly <laughs> I do. Yeah, you got I massive do. boobies you got big milkers <laughs> me do yeah so our teeth go crooked because we don't eat roots as babies more or less <clears throat> We mm. just suckle on teats and have drain my, the milk. I have my baby, nothing but fucking ginger root. Yeah. <laughs> just painful. Just fucking <laughs> snap off a branch. And... <laughs> <laughs> but you butt still like. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Grows up. Giga- How'd you get your jaw like that? Ginger root. <laughs> mm. <laughs> That's me, boy. My, uh, I mean, you know Jenkins, obviously. Jenkins has a really uh, interesting theory about gypsy women. Of that like that's an offensive term. What's well, here, Tom? <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> Fake gypsy Gregor. <laughs> but if you you guys probably haven't actually met many gypsies, I've met a no many I, gypsies. I, 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 li- I, li- <laughs> I literally don don the Aryan try, Prince try, Gregor. Try my <laughs> my whole, people, my whole family. <laughs> uh, yeah, they the women without a doubt, like all of them have just huge tits, massive racks. And uh, Tom's theory is, and I think it's a right theory, is that like the gypsy man's desire for big milkers is so all-consuming that they have self-selected out the genes for small tits <laughs> in That's their community. At its finest. It is, yeah, yeah. yeah, it is. I've never seen a gypsy woman with small tits. I wish that gypsy woman actually looked like the hunchback from Notre Dame chick, <clears throat> where it's just like they literally just they drew might a white if you woman, go up to like India, maybe- <laughs> <laughs> color palette yeah, swaps, and just like. Auto well, film. she's got to be beautiful. I mean, <laughs> exactly. It's a fairy tale. Yeah. <laughs> it's a fairy tale. <laughs> there we go. All right. Well, that's good. She, that she's hot. Better. It's the same with Jasmine too. <laughs> there's a there's a lot of movies out right now called that are just like one word pi- uh, animal names. Oh, you are talking about Nicholas Cage? Thing? There's pig. There's lamb. All, all this speaks to me is uh, all, all this says to me is more ripoffs of that fucking Keanu film, whatever it's called, John Wick. Pig, I think definitely is. Lamb looks fucking weird. I'm mm. stoked. That's gonna be yeah, right up my alley, dude. Cool. Yeah. Is this the m- movie I'm now gonna have to hear about for months on end? I hope so. And then, I, and I'll be disappointed. Mm-hmm. No, I, I actually think this one's gonna be fucking awesome. You thought the Green Knight was gonna be fucking awesome? <laughs> yeah, that was rough. Did you see it? <clears throat> Worst night. Oh, you though. did. See- Why did you oh. see it? Well, we were supposed to see it together, but he got sick. Why would you watch that? I just, I, th- I actually thought it looked cool. The thing too yeah. is like, here's the thing about the Green Knight it, is that visually beautiful. Yeah, yeah. loved it. It just but I, arbitrarily. I, I was, it was so fucking stupid. It was boring. Yeah, and not, I, I was telling Tom, I was like, you could, you could have taken the part where it's like, cuts off the guy's head, and then it's like a year passes and he just goes straight to the Green Knight, mm. and I'm like, that would have been like an interesting short film. Everything in between that was like valueless boring well, and valueless it's just like here's another example of how he's a dickhead here's another example of yeah how he's, he's just like, like a super yet? unlikable guy and then yeah, it's like yeah. supposed to be this redeeming thing for the end when he finally does like the honorable well, the thing ending, but the ending like, was the only part i liked about the movie yeah and even then it was like not incredible so what was what was bad about this film it's it was like 
maybe the worst case I can think of of just artistic self masturbation. Like, wouldn't it be cool if we did this? Oh, and it would be really profound if the fucking camera turned upside down, like in uh, uh, Midsummer. But just because, like, there's no fucking reason for it. Right. And none of the motivations made sense. He's fucking uh, at the beginning. The Green Knights challenges. Um. Would any of you, yeah, if any of you knights blow land a blow, and it doesn't matter what kind of blow, by That's, the way. I was telling Tom that. You could, he and it's like that ruins like, the entire fucking movie, because it's like, he could have just like, ha, ah, I got your arm. But that's, you know? but I mean, like, I think that the whole point of that was supposed to be that, like, in return, he chose, like, a false kind of glory because he's, like, trying to find his place at this round table, right, with knights. So he does, like, this beheading. But and it's then, like, retarded. It, it is. It, it 100% is. He, it would It would have been better if he would have bested him in a match or something, mm-hmm. and then only to do that, but... And by the way, the original mm-hmm. Arthurian legend, like the, the thing that happens in the original poem, which makes a whole lot more sense, is the knight comes up and he says, I want King Arthur, I want you or one of your knights to behead me with my axe. And then they get to keep my axe, which is this big, crazy, beautiful axe. Right. But in return, in a year, they have to let me do the same thing to them at my chapel. And then none of, none of them do it, obviously, because it's suicide. And then he calls them all cowards, and then King Arthur is ashamed of them because they're all cowards. He says, okay, I'll do it. And then Gawain gets up and says, no, don't, you know, you're too, I'll do it instead. I'll do it for you. Which may, actually, like, it's makes some sense. Yeah. yeah. Well, I but, think I think because of that, you get the honor thing way too early. Versus like this is like he's a party guy. And then like King Arthur is like... They, they, could, they could have made it make sense, though. No, I, could have, I'm like, on your side 100%. I'm just saying like in terms of I'm trying to rationalize why they did things. Well, it's, it's just like, but like there's all these there's stupid, all these there's all you know? these like points like whenever I was like oh like the bandits go and he gets yeah. like robbed and he kind of just looks like a pussy the whole time mm-hmm. and then it's just like and there's like no like arc to him to like him getting like any kind of satisfaction or like being like yeah he looked like a pussy but then he like went and like overcame it he's and then just he a became, pussy the entire time he's a pussy he's the entire right time until, until the very very end and that's why the end was good. Yeah, like, yeah, but but but, like, but but even then, it's like you're just kind of like disappointed that like he has to get his head cut off at the end or whatever. When he's yeah. like, "All right, well, off with your head." Hey, but, maybe we should uh, maybe we should make our own Green Knight. That can be our project. There right, we go. the right the wrongs of the film. Exactly, cream crew rewriting, Green Knight, rewriting Green Knight, <laughs> and then uh, Tom, you're just in blackface the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> King Ar- King Arthur's just like I can be King Arthur. I'm like. Come up here. You're like, what up, motherfucker? <laughs> what up, dog? <laughs> she hey, wanted to do. <laughs> no, that shit crazy. The whole the whole thing too was kind of weird. Of like, it yeah, man, it just had such a potential <clears throat> of being cool. Like, the, when the Green Knight comes in, it's awesome. And they got that guy from the witch who's the dad. I love <clears throat> his voice. The old yeah. fucking like yeah, really yeah. froggy kind of low uh, yeah. type deal. And he you uh, could be the Green Knight. <clears throat> yes. <laughs> Yeah. It was the whole thing. I mean, I could, it, and it's just, a, it's a shame, man. It could have been some, I think, I feel like it could have been such a fucking sweet movie, but. I'll tell you the best film of all that I just watched. I was t- talking to you about it. Mm. <laughs> yeah. For the first time, I've never seen it before. Conan the Barbarian. Oh, this is your first time seeing uh-huh, it. Uh-huh, 1982. Oh, wow. Yep, I watched it. Man, and I, I watched Conan the Destroyer. I gotta rewatch that. I haven't seen it since I was a child. Conan the Destroyer, Kill my not family, so good. you rape my people! I never realized like that la, 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 thing that every impressionist does came from that film. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean he could like I, that's what I was saying. He's like he could really feel, bad like, dub. Feel like, feel like he could barely fucking speak. Have you seen German. like have you seen? I saw it when I was a kid. <laughs> Why do you keep saying German and not English? Because he's, it's like he's so Aus- he's Austrian. Because he's, but you say he can barely I, I know, speak German because he's so incompetent at speaking that he can barely speak his own language. Is oh, what I'm I saying. see. Uh, but they weren't trying to get him to speak German in the film. That's well, why it's well, no, me. but yeah, but yeah. He, uh, they when he played Hercules, he played Hercules. I think in 1979, this movie it, it was so unusable that they had someone go over and dub it over. So it's this, uh, totally English. Like, I guess I'll take it out. I guess I'll take this elsewhere. It's stuff. It's pretty interesting. <laughs> I was really surprised by Conan. I'll say you've seen it, right? Yeah, it was funny. It's my, my dad sat us down. When I was a child to watch it. I was like, come here. This come here, boy. You're gonna I learn love, how to be I a man. These, I love these books. It's a great man. And then there's like a scene with. Arnold's like in a cage, like an animal, and they bring like a, a chick to fuck or something, like a little, Based. little like breeding thing. Yeah, yeah, and there's, there's just a little blank around yeah, her. There's it's just, just like sweet about it. Titties out and like swords. Awesome. And, I think that movie's like rated PG too. <laughs> it's rated R. 
Oh, is it? Okay. It's the second one that's right. Yeah, PG. my dad's obviously sitting like, oh, I don't, don't remember that part. Oh, oh shit. Did, oh, God. Well, Wait, don't, 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 don't look at the screen. Ordinary. Give dad five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> he would turn he would turn movies off, though, usually when that happened. But yeah, well, kind of transcends. Yeah, we, no, we wrote it out. Yeah, I had to see it. You know? I, dude, I was really fucking pleasantly surprised. I will say it's very dated. Mm-hmm. Like, it's structure and the way it, like, moves through shit and... Uh, the effects and all the swords and stuff. Yeah, it's, awful. A, big, it's a big ball. It's of really, cheese. it's mm. really dated. But in there, there are these really cool fucking like shots. These mm. really like serious dramatic shots. And the the score, I was like blown away by the score, man. It's fucking, it's like phenomenal. <coughs> yeah. it, ma- it makes you like want to like. Argh! It's a fun. Uh, it's just a fun movie. It's like hard to like sit down and not like have your attention fully grasped. It's full of like. like actual i know this sounds stupid but like thought-provoking shit it's like actually kind of a smart film i know it sounds dumb but it is i mean maybe maybe it's like i really hope this is like teenager. directly juxtaposed against shitting on green knight for like 30 minutes actually, well i've Conan, not seen the, the green knight so. it's a really good movie it did it's yeah. i think i think it's just the thing i think it's just one of those things of uh it's got some philosophy in it it's just mm-hmm. it's just the simplicity thing like it's 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 simple and it's able to like give you a point directly that you like can understand in the moment and like appreciate versus like the green knight where it's just trying to like it's trying <clears throat> so hard to like hide it's like meanings and it's yeah, like yeah, you know yeah. what i mean just rife with contradictions mm. and ultimately doesn't say anything it's trying to be deep but it's not yeah. is that what you're saying right yeah, absolutely whereas conan was not trying to be deep and it was <laughs> <laughs> yeah man it's uh those are fun movies i i've been trying to like make a list of just like f- like movies that are just generally fun to watch mm. like you know what i mean like uh not like move like there's obvious movies that i like that are just like i un- almost unpleasant <laughs> Like Saving Private Ryan is not a fun movie to watch. Ah, it's like, a banger. Like I love that movie, but it's like I don't want to like watch somebody like, mm-hmm. like go through all that. But I've been yeah, I've been trying to think of like big uh big kind of yeah, just enjoyable movies to watch like that. Conan the Destroyer. <clears throat> not 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 quite so good. <laughs> was Arnold even in that one? Yeah, he was. It's was. fucking dog shit, dude. It's so bad. It's really bad. There was that one Conan movie from like what t- 2009 or something. And it's 2011 just like- with old fucking Jason Momoa. Oh, was that Jason Momoa? Yeah, it's Dry- Carl Dry- Groder, right? <clears throat> that was him? Uh, yeah. That's right. Yeah, oh, shit. Okay. Well, his stupid fucking eyebrows are like but, this. But I was going to say the. Uh, I actually like Jason Momoa. The, uh, the thing about Arnold Schwarzenegger back then doing that too is that he feels like a foreign, like, yeah. barbarian. Like, he I does. think that adds to the class of it. If it's just a right. guy, he's just like. I will take you down. It just feels too familiar. So having that kind of like, you don't really know what the fuck, like where he's from <laughs> or anything. It does have that like, el- like fantastical element to it. Like that fantasy element that I think is fun. It's, it is like dated though. I can't understate that enough. It's yeah, so dated. But, yeah. There's, there's plenty <laughs> of movies that are like special effects that doesn't hold up or do whatever. That's Even still, like, beyond that, movies. it's just some like, some weird pacing and shit. Very strange. But, uh, uh, different times, maybe. But over uh, overwhelmed by some of the cool cinematography and the soundtrack, mm. specifically the score. I want to rewatch Predator. I haven't seen that in a long that's time. That's such a good film. One dude. of the best slashers of all time. Yeah. You call it a slasher? That, that's a hundred percent what it is. Yeah. That's kind like of a, that, kind, I guess. I no, it it hundred percent is. Yeah, I mean it's an eighty slasher. That's like the best part of it. It's, and it's and it's dra- and that's what makes it so amazing is that it's draped as an action movie. Mm. It's not an action movie at all. It's a liter- It's a horror it's, slasher it's film. Defi- I mean, I can see what you're saying, but it's definitely got heavy action elements to it. It's exactly. not like, but, but that's the that's the that's like the beauty in it is that it's a fucking like. It, it masks itself in this way and then it turns into this amazing... Well, the victims aren't completely helpless. They're like the Yeah, opposite. they're not like Twiggy Broads. Well, I think they don't have it, to be for yeah, it to be a... It I just mean like, but it's... Slasher, though. it's but, like, I but think it's, like, I mean, maybe I'm totally wrong, but when I think of Slasher, the overtones are kind of right. someone somewhat helpless running away from a murderer. I mean, they are fairly helpless, though. But they're, they're not. They've got all these fucking like guns yeah, but and shit. It and, doesn't matter, though. It's like they're helpless to this... Like, they're so like helpless to this like fucking alien entity who just is always like seven steps ahead of them and that's like also the thing is that the final girl or arnold in this situation it's like not just like oh he escapes it's like he he like bests him at his own the game. final girl it's me <laughs> yeah, i'm the final girl <laughs> run go get to the chopper it's like and that's the thing too is like is that like it's not in like a suburban setting it's like draped in this like 
action movie elements, but it's a fucking it's a slasher. I, I, I will awesome. I will uh, concede it's some sort of hybrid, but I don't mm. think it's a pure slasher. Yeah, it's fair. I, think I mean, I don't think it's much, a pure like, slasher, but I think that a hundred percent it's a slasher movie. Like I would never categorize that as an action. It's film. mixed race. They we'll blow all. That. They blow like all of the action stuff at the beginning, and then everything other than that is like yeah, cat and mouse. Those are awesome scenes of him just like slaughtering Cubans, <laughs> sla- 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 slaughtering Cubans. You are like, in Barro. It's so good. Like people don't people don't understand that. And the thing too is like people get so hung up on the, the the facet of like the action at the beginning of that, and they think it's like an action movie. And then they add all this like depth to the Predator and what it is and everything. And that's why all the other Predator movies are total shit. But it's like the the, the best thing about that movie is that it's so camouflaged as being like this is a fucking. Hey? Hey. Hey. What? Camouflage. The predator camo. It's the camouflage. The active camouflage. Yeah. The uh, but the but, it's, it's, <laughs> but like the whole deal about like all of like the choice of like like lines like ah Dylan you son of a bitch and all those like you know it's just muscles and everything Fucking and then right. immediately. It's like people skinned and hanging from trees, and they're just like, "What the hell is going?" And it's like that kind of thing. It's you know it's, what, it's beautiful. Do you know what film did that like better than any? I would say, even if it's kind of corny, mm. is uh, from dusk till dawn. The little fucking plot twist. You think so good? <clears throat> I, I I enjoy that movie, but it's just like it's just like. And by the way, this is a <laughs> vampire film. It was so like classless. It, it is like, like tacked on. Yeah. I, I love it. I think it's George Clooney and Quentin Tarantino. Have you not seen From Dust Till Dawn? It's a ten, it's, I swear well, I would have made you watch it, that. I forgot who. Mm-hmm. It's not an Eli. Ro- I forgot who did that. Who t- fucking cares? All I care about is Sam Hanks fat tits. So it's so it's like a slasher, and then at the end, it starts. It's, no, it's like a, a it's like a crime. It like, starts off as like a crime kind of like drama thing, and it feels very much like almost like a Quentin Tarantino film. Okay. And then like, God, like halfway through the movie, less. It's like the end, fucking fourth, the end quarter it's of like, the film, it's w- and it's just like, by the way, they're vampires. <laughs> and you're like, what, dude? It's great. <laughs> it goes from this like semi serious thing, and before you know it, there's a guy with like. A magnum cock holster piece that like comes up and starts shooting vampires and stuff. <laughs> it's fucking sick. It's very, uh, it's very. Don't tell me that's not good. <laughs> I mean, it's not. It's cartoony and stuff. Sam hate it, with a snake. It's mm-hmm. like, uh, it's a. Uh, I'm bummed out. I couldn't mm-hmm. have been surprised by these things. You still I thought you'd have seen it. You'll be like, oh, they're fucking with me. Mm-hmm. It'll be yeah. so late in the movie. You'll be like, <laughs> you'll forget. Pussy, it's pussy, also, pussy. It's like a long movie too. Yeah, I don't know, but the. Uh, Quentin Tarantino acts in it a, but a yeah, lot as well, uh, which is funny. Predator, we should totally watch that. That'd be fun. Pr- I movie. like Predator too, as well. I know that's. I like do a, like Danny Glover. And I think it's a too. great film. I don't know yeah, why people yeah. don't like it. Um, I don't. I, 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 I don't those. know. It's full of like really <laughs> funny like racial stereotypes. It's like the Jamaican gang that yeah. worships. <laughs> the all, yeah, all the all voodoo gang. <laughs> all in LA. I kind of liked all that stuff. I thought that was sweet. Oh, there is a there is like it, it, it does correlate with like the predators kind of like. The dread collect, thing. collecting. Oh, it's a very dead game. art, but like I started watching and I because it's so funny, I had to stop watching it so we could watch it together. Was a uh, big trouble in Little China. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. there is a, a yeah, dead was... art of like racial stereotyping in films. <laughs> Completely that, dead. That's they a, they that's such a good Russell. <laughs> they stereotype the fuck in that film. I think that's a John Carpenter movie. Have you seen it done? No. Do, is it was Raiden first or was or, or was that first? Like what? Mortal Kombat Raiden, who came first? That film or probably Big Trouble in Little China. So Raiden's or, or right like based time. on that, or is it that already be, like a know. pre-existing thing? I feel like it's probably. It's, I mean, I'm, it's I'm in sure the there's Mortal some. Mortal Kombat canon. No, 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 no. But no, there's a character that's like Raiden in Big Trouble. It's Mortal dude. Kombat. It's so funny, right? It oh, starts with this guy in like a truck, okay. and he meets up with his Asian friend, and his Asian friend wants to go to the airport to like meet this broad, and there's some like triad gang or whatever that steals this guy's girl, mm. and they chase him. And before you know it, there's these like four Chinese gangs with submachine guns laying into each other. And you're like, this took a left turn. And then right after that, three Raiden motherfuckers like zap out of nowhere and start like firing lightning bolts and stuff. And it's just like, what the fuck is going on? It's just like an amazing action movie. Like it, it's like it, it's one. It's like it's. it's I was laughing that, so it, hard. It, 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 I had it, to stop. It is funny. Like it, and it's, I watch with and you I guys. Think it's like intentionally funny. It's just like. Kurt, God, I fucking love Kurt Russell, dude. He's just such a awesome, charismatic character. He fills that role so well. He was uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, right, as well? Mm-hmm. Two. The, s- the I second one, so, yeah. Man. That's that guy. <clears throat> yeah. I like that actor in Green Knight that played, uh, I guess, King Arthur, because he's kind of like a diet Kurt Russell. Like in, uh, Did you see that movie, um, It Comes at Night? 
Yeah. His, yeah, it was terrible, mm -hmm. obviously. But he, he had like a real uh, Kurt Russell, the thing vibe in that thing with like the beard. The beard, and, yeah, yeah, I could yeah. see that. There was that guy in um, Conan who like looks a bit like Lemmy. <laughs> kind of have a bit of a man crush on him. Mm, yeah. You know the one I'm talking about? I think so, yeah. <laughs> so funny, dude. Classic, Such 70s like, fantasy bullshit. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I... A lot of, there's a lot of good shit. We gotta, we gotta do the movie night thing again. It's been fucking forever. Mm. You're supposed to watch Crisis Young, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The, 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 French the French anime The French anime, yeah. 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 Main goal of my life right now is to figure out my nail bit business. Yeah. <clears throat> figure out what the fuck is... Like endless, an endless uh, supply of content. Cream crew, That's five thousand views every <laughs> less every episode. <laughs> less comments, less views, less That's watch duration. Everything and everything and anything less. Maybe if we upload it on time. <laughs>